What I've observed is that Portugal or the agencies, the government, the IMT, they say, oh, this isn't working. Tear it apart. Shut it down. So, well, what are you going to do instead? And they go, we haven't worked that out yet. Yeah. And so then there's this huge stall and backlog of cases in addition to untrained personnel, in addition to not enough staff to begin with, that mm. just creates this huge backlog that seems to be consistent with what Tig is saying too. So yeah. it's just frustrating. Despite all of that, this is a great place to live. I, I, I do find yes. it really important to, to, to make that message. And, you know, I, I, I reassert my 80-20 rule here is that, you know, Portugal is 80% awesome, if not more. And mm -hmm. then, of course, in any, in any um, life situation, 20% of your life might be admin and chores and that sort of thing. And then when you get into that long grass here in Portugal, that 20%, it can seem like 80% of your life is or more is dogged and undermined by these this awful unholy situation um darren has been in touch as well with imt uh, i just kept spamming them with emails until they couldn't ignore me anymore and if everyone does that i mean that's not going to be helping them it's going to help you isn't it but it's just going to make their jobs more miserable what i mean in their position it must be awful it's bad enough for the individual trying to engage with them do you think from a brit centric point of view tig that um the brits just aren't very important in the scheme of things as well from their point of view i don't know if new immigrants bring in more money right okay I, and it, we, just, I, we, we don't know what's motivating it really i, I suppose do we whether it's political emotional or whatever it is i think new immigrants bring in you know they're they're possibly that because they've always been processed the new ones are all, okay. and of course they then buy houses and whatever and i think they've had to prioritize simply because they haven't got the staff so yeah, you yeah. know, um, but I do have a few things I need to say, Carl. Actually, oh, sorry, yeah, okay. Um, let me just get do a, a few more um, uh, comments okay. that have come in and then just go. Sorry, sorry, I, I didn't realize you would be hitting the ground running with a list of things yeah. already this year, but thank you. I had a job once where my workload was doubled, so I stopped taking phone calls to cope. Very stressful times, yeah. Um, Tig, we cannot renew online right now, not available. We did reach someone by phone and we were told we must make an appointment, which is not available. It's not available. Back vicious cycles like the movie brazil isn't it because i moved here primarily for the weather i remember that when i'm not happy with the processes you've got to have a strategy like that you do have to have a mindful strategy for dealing Absolutely. with stuff i do better than james to be here to talk about that sorry your list Tick, go ahead it's yeah and it's like but we've always i've always said that haven't i whenever i've come on yep. is that that seth Amer, whatever the flipping label you just it, it's just a constant battle you just have to keep going and going and going and hope but for anybody that hasn't been in, has been in Portugal prior to 2021, a UK national, the email address that you need to do is brexit at aima.pt. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll put that I in the chat. Brexit at aima.pt. But fairly certain this Seth one doesn't work anymore, but it might. So, yeah. you know, people are saying yes, some are saying no. So, okay. Um, the other thing is we've got a new ambassador, Lisa Bandari, starts this month. So that's that. And something very, very important, um, a few things that are actually um, voting rights. Anybody, any UK national that has been in Portugal for more than 15 years was instantly negated from actually um, voting in the UK anymore. Okay. Now... As of from the 24th of January, in an, I, think, I think it's the 24th of January, we now have that right back. Mm -hmm. However, you do need to register on gov.uk to be able to do that. And you can do that from the 16th of January. So oh, that's, yeah. that's huge news. That's huge news because so many 60% um, of UK nationals in the EU couldn't vote in the referendum because of that. Okay, huge. absolutely yep. huge. Um, any UK national that has been told at health centres they're not getting treatment because they're British, if they could contact me, please. And how do they do that? Take in uh, British in Portugal on on uh, Facebook or okay. Tig, Tig James. Okay. Just go to Tig James on Messenger. That'd be brilliant. Right. Um, also, of course, um, Tig James MBE on Messenger. I think you meant to say there. Have you changed it on Facebook yet? I've changed it nowhere. I can't make my mind up. I can't make my mind up what I want oh, to do. 
done on Facebook. Are, are, when are you allowed to do it? Do you have to wait until the moment of the yeah. investment? You can do, do it. it you, now. Are, you are now MB now. Okay. Do it now, yeah. I, 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 I can't quite. It's like I said, you've already got letters after me name that I'd never use. So I, I just don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll <clears throat> might get mad around that one day when I'm not doing anything else. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, first world problems. F Etta, <laughs> the um, for non UK nationals wanting to travel to the UK, okay. yes, that's coming in this year. So they need P any non UK nationals who want to go to the UK have to get an ETA, an ETA. If you're a UK national living in the UK and you want to come to the EU, you have to get an ETIAS. Okay. As of from 2025, you're going to need an ETIAS. So next year, you're okay. going to need one. So, right. I yeah. Mean, not, not excellent, but thank you for telling us. Yeah, it, 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 people aren't going to know. They're not going to know. They? They're not. They're going to, they're going to rock up at airports and they're going to go, where's your ETIAS? Where's your ETA? Your ETA? And they're going to go, what? And we know it's going to happen. It always does. Yes. Yeah. It's, you know. It's, it's just yeah, one of those things, isn't it? Okay, but, they, you know, hopefully they will be delayed with in implementing that. If they're short-staffed and things aren't working very well and they can't process all their backlog, backlog they're going to tell the EU, aren't they? We can't do ETS yet. Knock it, kick it down the street. No, it's an EU-wide thing. Oh, okay. Carry on. <laughs> EU wide, so no, that's about a lot, really. And I, I would like, obviously, next month, I'll, I'll remind people of these. Keep reminding people of these things. Well, I, I will segment this. I will make this a little mini update from the show so that it can be shared wherever is useful. And we do love your lists. And uh, on that note of the new ambassador, here she is. A change yeah. of His Majesty's ambassador to Portugal, Lisa Bandari. Ms. Lisa Bandari has been appointed His Majesty's ambassador to the Portuguese Republic. In, it sounds so great when it's put like that. In succession to Mr. Chris Sainty, Ms. Lisa Bandari has been appointed then and will take up her appointment during this month, January 2024. Can you just and hold there, Carl. Just sure. hold there. Yeah. Can, can you see? I, I, when I looked at this, no, 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 go back up. Oh, back up. There. No, 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 go down. Sorry, okay. go down. Get stopped. <laughs> um, no. The CV. Yeah, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> Don't move. Just stop. Okay, yeah. Please. Can you <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can you can you see 2017 to 2020? Yes. Department, uh, department for, Oh, departmenting department for exiting the EU. I didn't know there was such a thing. That that, been... that, that was called Dexu. Okay? <laughs> that was Dexu. In um and it was the department dealing with all the Brexit issues for UK nationals. They had to, in the end, set up a department. They realised that they couldn't just wing it, okay? They set up Dexu. But I think it's, for me personally, I just find it interesting that we've got somebody who was the deputy director of it coming to Portugal. I, that so, sounds good to me. You're going to be on the same page. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm so pleased that at least she will have, you know, quite a lot of understanding of and knowledge i hope mm -hmm. knowledge of the law and what should and shouldn't happen and yeah I, i'm really pleased with that she's also so, or was the deputy director for ongoing eu business and third country preparation so well placed for this um but between uh, or and between then and now uh, the fcdo deputy director for india and her majesty's government india coordinator so a big hitter uh, coming over to the Portuguese Republic uh, by on the orders of His Majesty. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? Um, what's been going on there? A few more comments coming in, and we'll cheer ourselves up with a bit of uh, more, more, some more of the cheerful news from the uh, uh, Good Morning Portugal homepage. Uh, Andy saying, would I have traded getting the tax relief benefits then for the aggravation of getting residency now, he wonders. And my husband says, Pam, can't get a UK e-hit card, even though he has an S1, can, can't get any help or explanation from the NHS. Any tips on yes. that, Tig? Yes, needs to contact the um, NHS overseas um, line. Um, just, just go Google it. NHS overseas line, and they'll sort out your e-hick for you. And in quite a, a good way, by the sound of it. It sounds like you have good feedback from that service. Yeah, we all get them from there. Yeah, it's actually, it's it's, it's called a G-hick now. 
Of course it is. It needs to go through a name change. Just Progressing to... through the alphabet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like storms do. <laughs> okay. yes. All right. And and what is that for people who don't know? What is a jihik then? What would you um, basically, it was it's for people because of course, you know, the ehik that we had meant that we could go to as as EU citizens as we were. We had ehiks, which meant we could go to any EU country and walk into any, you know, sort of like the the, the country's health service and get free healthcare. Mm -hmm. Of course, now not being you, you know, EU citizens, we can't do that anymore unless you were resident in the EU. And now you can actually get GHIX and then you can you can now go to other countries in the EU and still have that provision. And that is in an emergency. I mean, you can't just go abroad and have some health care. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, it's like a health holiday for a minute, but it's this is an, an yeah. emergency if you need yes, that. It's, it's, okay. Well, you know, car accidents, appendicitis. So, okay, G yeah. Hick. Then he's contacted them. Apparently, they said he needs to provide more information, but won't tell him what. Okay, so <laughs> I think uh, perhaps British in Portugal, the way for anyone who's been in a similar situation, they can get the necessary or uh, Pam can get the necessary it's intel. All on, it's all on the announcements, stroke features, depending which device that you're using in. In, in those in British in Portugal on Facebook. But just ring somebody else, just ring back. You rock. Thank you, Tig. So just a little bit of a palate cleanser then yeah. uh, over on goodmorningportugal.com. Uh, I, I love discovering this uh, Quinta dos Vages uh, website here, which has got some really, no, they're not just flogging, well, of course they're flogging wine, but they've got some um, very educational stuff about wine. I'd never heard of budding before. They talk about budding there. First snow of the year, that's fallen uh, in, in uh, up in Serra de Estrela sort of district. Um, and you can find out more with some lovely pictures if you go to goodmorningportugal.com. And I'll just share with you the president's high hopes as we close out the show. Oh, no, I won't. I, well, I will do that, but I'll tell you there is a new Iberian Wolf and Lynx project, which I'm always glad to see because it gives me a chance to put a picture up of the lovely Iberian Lynx there. And then finally, the Portugal president, Portuguese president, uh, said um, that uh, he hopes uh, Portugal will do not more better but more and better in 2024 this year. The Portuguese will choose in 2024 which paths they want to take and with what political support. In other words, they will say which architecture they want to build in order to maintain, to underpin the fundamental guarantee of an approved state budget of a stabilised economic and social situation, said Marcelo. The president pointed out that in 2024, there will also be the European Parliament elections and the US presidential elections and the predicted he predicted that it will be a remarkable year in many ways, not least because in the global world, the challenges of some are, to a large extent, the challenges of all. It's interesting and quite presidential note to finish the 